In this technical video, we will demonstrate how to isolate peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, using density gradient centrifugation. Researchers often need to isolate lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells from whole blood to avoid interference in certain assays. By following the eight steps in this video, you'll be able to maximize PBMC recovery, achieve cell viability greater than 95%, and ensure normal lymphocyte function and frequency. The standard method to purify PBMCs is density gradient centrifugation. This method requires careful layering of human blood over a density gradient medium followed by centrifugation and recovery of the mononuclear cell layer. Before initiating any laboratory procedure, it's important to complete several preparatory steps. First, treat all human biospecimens as potentially infectious and ensure you are taking all necessary safety precautions, including personal protective equipment and checking the location and operation of laboratory safety equipment. Second, make sure you have all equipment, materials, and reagents needed to complete the isolation protocol. Treat all surfaces and non-sterilized materials with an effective antimicrobial solution, such as 70% ethanol. Now you're ready to begin your isolation protocol. Start by diluting your blood sample with an equal volume of phosphate buffered saline, or PBS, and gently mix. This dilution procedure will help minimize granulocyte contamination and increase cell viability. Next, carefully layer the diluted blood over an appropriate volume of density gradient media in a conical tube. Place the sample in a centrifuge, ensuring it is properly balanced, and spin per the gradient media manufacturer's recommendations. After centrifugation, you'll observe four distinct layers. The top layer contains plasma and platelets, followed by the PBMC layer, density gradient media, and red blood cells and granulocytes on the bottom. Using a pipette, remove the layer containing plasma and platelets and discard. The layer of PBMCs will appear like a white and cloudy blanket. When recovering the PBMCs, take care not to withdraw too much of the layer below containing the density gradient, granulocytes, and RBCs. Wash the recovered PBMCs by adding between two and three times volume of PBS and centrifuging. Discard the supernatant. Wash recovered PBMCs a second time in PBS to remove any remaining contaminants such as platelets and density gradient media. After the final wash, remove the supernatant and suspend the PBMC pellet in an appropriate amount of PBS or BSS for cell counting, cryo storage, or your specific experimental requirements. And that's it! Your cells are now ready for use in your downstream applications. For more information on PBMC isolation and other scientific resources, visit us at cytologicsbio.com.